Hey, I'm Ramstad and here's how to install and use Vortex. So first, we're going to need a 4SC by Silverlock. Here are the current builds. If you're using Fallout 4 VR, download this one instead. Open the F4SC archive using your preferred zip program. I prefer OneWare, but there is also 7-zip and the built-in .zip extractor by Windows. Now you're going to open the zip file and navigate to your Fallout 4 directory. Mine's is located in Steam Common. I made a quick access shortcut to access it faster, too. Now bring up the F4SC archive. Open the folder inside the archive and drag the contents into your Fallout 4 directory. Do not put it in your Fallout 4 data folder. Now, go to your browser and type in Nexus Mod Fallout 4. Click the Mods tab at the top of the screen. To your right, you should see Get Vortex. Click that. Click Download the latest version now. Then click Manual Download. And an additional files required window should pop up. Make sure you have Windows 10 or higher and download.net 6.0 plus if you do not have it. Click download to download Vortex now. Install.net 6.0 plus. Now install Vortex. I'm changing my path to D because I want my mods on my external drive. Wait for it to finish and make sure Run Vortex is checked. Once Vortex loads, go to Games and find Fallout 4. Go to your settings and make sure your paths are correct. Now to add F4SC as a shortcut, go to your dashboard tab. Scroll down until you see tools. You should see Fallout 4 Script Descender if you installed it correctly. Click Enable Toolbar to set the shortcut at the top. If you don't see Fallout 4 Script Extender, click the plus button to click New. Name the file F4SC. Click the open folder icon in the target path. Navigate to your Fallout 4 directory and click the F4SC loader.exe. Save. Now mods. I'm going to show you a few errors you can get with mods using Nick Valentine's mods. So happy Valentine's Day, by the way. I'm going to load um, Valentine Reborn by 83 Willow. And I'm going to click to enable the mod. Now I'll show you a redundant mod error. I'm going to copy the Valentine Reborn archive and paste it in the same folder to make a copy. I'm going to open the copy archive and enable it. You should get two errors. One is file conflicts and the other is some mods are redundant error. Click on show the redundant mods error. If we click review, we can see what files this mod affects and see that it overwrites every single file from the original, but nothing new is added. Close and click disable selected. Always check your Vortex notifications. Click the loose files may not get loaded error. Click more to see the details. Vortex pretty much is telling it's fixable through the mod manager, so click fix. The other error is unresolved file conflicts. This is where the load order comes into play. Since this mod is redundant, we choose either to load before or after, and it won't hurt anything, though don't intentionally install a copy of a mod. Now we're going to install Gen 2 Nick Valentine by the seventh courier. Now no error popped up, which means this is a case where Valentine Reborn only has meshes and textures with no .esp file. Whereas Gen 2 Nick Valentine has unique meshes and textures that are activated with a .esp file. Meaning Gen 2 Nick Valentine's texture will appear over Valentine Reborn, unless you disable the ESP. Now I'm going to add Heart Eyes for Valentine by Crydo. You should get a file conflict error. Click Show, 
I want the heart eyes to show over Gen 2s, since Gen 2 takes precedence over Valentine Reborn. So it'll be Val Reborn, then Gen 2, and then Heart Eyes for the order. So I'll click After for Heart Eyes for Valentine. Now, if you have multiple mods overriding the same thing, but still want the Heart Eyes over everything, click After All to load after all the mods conflicting. Last thing before opening the game, go to your Documents, My Games. So the path will look like this. Open the Fallout 4 custom.ini. Input these two in the custom ini, which is Arch, Archive, Invalidated, and a command to change your display if it's not in the file already. Now it's time to load Fallout 4 via, via, via your FORSC shortcut. I'm gonna load my exit save to skip the game opening. You'll get a message about achievements being disabled. This is normal once you start modding, so click yes to continue. I used the console command 0002f25.move2player, which is Nick's, Nick Valentine's ID plus move2player. Hey there. Oh, look at him, he's so precious. Look at him, his art eyes. Oh my God, they're awesome. If this video helped you, please let me know in the comments or subscribe. Happy Valentine's Day, Arthurs and Modders.